Dear God, I got one question. I need to know do revolutionaries go to heaven? And if so, may their legacies last forever and they seeds grow. Tell them that we love them so and never let them die slow. It's like we cursed to be born black. We was kings and queens, now look where we at. I know it won't be long before we take it back. I just hope I live long enough to see it happen. And that's a fact. Cause one thing when you pro black. You might love your people, but they may not love you back. For more than 400 years, we've been under attack. We survived slavery and then they gave us crack. Gave us crack. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? 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 I want to know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I want to know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so. All right, peace, peace, King. Peace. How you feeling, man? Oh, man, shit, I'm good. Trying to make it happen, Kevin. Right, right. I just want to thank you, man. First and foremost, it's truly an honor. You're doing me a huge favor for coming on the platform, man. Oh, man, thanks for thanks for inviting me, bro. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. We're going to get right into it. Peace and blessings, family. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Taye Speaks, man. We got a giant in the building, you know what I'm saying? A pioneer in hip-hop period on the West Coast. Uh, a major influence, strong with the pen game. It's, it's truly an honor, man. Thank you for coming to the show. For the viewers who may not know who you are, let them know what your name is and where you're from. My name is Raz Kaz. I represent Watts and C. Arson, the city doing the Long Beach, Southwest of Compton. Wow, that's what's good. up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I'm going to get right into it. Um, Coming from Watts, coming from Cali, the West Coast, when did you first get exposed to hip-hop? Um, Was it something you seen on TV or on the radio, or was it already in the community by that time? It was already in the community, uh, but I think uh, we kind of probably brought it to a uh, to uh, uh, where I where I always say you can you can hear things but not listen. It's just ambient sound. So it was it always existed. But as far as when I took notice and really really paid attention, um, I think I I I I I feel like my sister had to take me uh, or sisters had to take me, and I saw uh, maybe it was breaking mm. something like that. And I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Um, but I think I still was more, you know, like it was really about the dancing and breaking. And then I think uh, I saw Crush Groove or something. I was like, ah, oh, this is super dope. I, I remember LL saying like the box. I was like a little little dude. And then um, again, I I was I heard it. It was in the neighborhood, but I didn't listen to it. Um, I think I really started paying attention when I heard like. Fuck the police and WA when mm. I heard. Um, I think I started listening. Um and fuck the police stands out in my brain and uh, my philosophy, like KRS one. Yeah, man, big shout out to Karen. Because I'm kind of both of those, you know, at the end of the day, those are mm -hmm. kind of my influence is that it's kind of street shit, regular, you know, living life, LA shit, and then it's this informational part so it was always those two so it's probably you know they that stood out to me because that's kind of my life i guess i was how i was growing up okay that's a nice combo bdp and nwa for sure big shout right. out to both of them yeah yes yeah, sir now breaking breaking that was the one that was shot with uh on the west coast with ice tea and the glove mm-hmm okay yeah that's a class a big shout out to the glove know. Right, little you know, little did I know. Eventually, I would, would meet these legends, man. These you know, these people that created a foundation for myself. It's specifically in L.A., man. So that's that's crazy. You made me. I forgot Chris the glove was you know the glove was from that legendary shit. I remember Ice T, but people don't be thinking remember like the mm -hmm. Chris Glove has been putting in work from like damn shit down there day one. Right, some legends, some pioneers. Okay.